Alan, can you start by just telling us a little bit about um, what the paper is about and the motivation and those kind of things? Yeah, um, well, uh, uh, if you look at uh, the paper, uh, we find that the paper talks about uh, the forensic uh, challenges in its care systems. And um, its main purpose is uh, to point out that uh, performing a forensic investigation on a SCADA system is different from uh, other networks, such as a corporate network, home networks. And um, uh, it is because of the underlying industrial uh, processes that are uh, controlled by SCADA systems. Uh, besides, uh, uh, the paper also suggests forensic investigators to get accustomed initially with uh, the particular uh, SCADA system environments uh, that they are supposed to investigate so that uh, whenever they need to perform investigation, uh, they could do it more effectively. Uh, yeah. Well, this is, you know, I, I think it's a actually really important and a really interesting topic, but a little bit, you know, off the mainstream. So. How did you get involved in it? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, yeah, uh, uh, before I uh, came to uh, the United States, I was doing my uh, postdoc uh, in Australia uh, at Information Security Institute at Queensland University of Technology. And that was actually uh, the time when I was uh, formally introduced to uh, SCADA systems. And uh, it was a quite interesting topic. and. Uh, 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 mo mo most of that work is uh, related to the forensic, uh, how, how we could in improve uh, the forensic investigations uh, in its care systems. So uh, that's the point where I started, and then I just keep going. <laughs> so uh, yeah, okay, and, and bes besides, uh, I also want to mention that uh, this paper is uh, actually the outcome of a collaborative work with uh, couple of uh, ABB researchers, uh, Dr. Sebastian Obermeyer and uh, Dr. Martin Nevely, and is also uh, partially uh, supported by the National Science Foundation in the United States. Uh, I, I just I should acknowledge that, yeah. Well, I, I appreciate your acknowledging that. The NSF will be particularly happy that you've done that. Um, so, so obviously, the, this segues quite nicely into you, you know, your, your view of what, what, what do you think the key problems are that investigators f are facing during um, investigations involving this kind of equipment? Yeah, uh, I think uh, there are many, and uh, the paper also talks about them. Uh, but I think uh, the key problem an investigator can face is that uh, when uh, the investigator is not familiar with the environment and uh, not sufficient documentation is made available by the SCADA owners and operators to facilitate the investigation. Um, I think I think this would make a very challenging situation for the investigators, and um, uh, uh, th that's why uh, uh, the paper also suggests forensic investigators to just get accustomed uh, initially before they actually need any sort of investigation to that particular environment, so they would know the environment and uh, they could uh, uh, know what they are doing when it's needed. Well, that that brings up to me a very interesting point, and that is. You know, what kind of special knowledge would, would an investigator need, and, and really, how would they get it? I mean, I've been doing computer forensics for a long time. Um, I've never even come near any SCADA equipment. So, you know, how, how would they get that kind of knowledge? Well, uh, uh, first, uh, uh, getting uh, the SCADA knowledge is, uh, um, is uh, I would say, uh, I mean, uh, like like any forensic uh, training, uh, uh, even I, I, I heard that the Ohio National Lab offers uh, SCADA security and forensic trainings. Uh, uh, so uh, that could be a good starting point. But uh, one should have a good knowledge of uh, uh, forensic investigation and all the relevant tools, and also uh, this particular environment. So uh, if somebody doesn't know anything about the SCADA systems and uh, its key components and how they communicate, how they work, uh, then uh, I think it would be a, uh, a very challenging uh, uh, task for, for even a, a trained forensic investigator who doesn't know anything about this uh, system. So, um, uh, yeah. Well, that, that brings up um, the, the point you, you mentioned that you know, familiarity with the process and familiarity with the tools um, is really the question about whether the, the, the current set of forensic tools that we have available for us 
um, are they in fact adequate and appropriate for investigating SCADA type systems? Yeah, I think uh, these tools are very useful, but uh, in, uh, I, I think they don't fully facilitate forensic investigation in SCADA systems. For instance, as I know, uh, these tools uh, do not support uh, SCADA specific, specific uh, protocols and also they are not aligned with uh, the prime uh, availability requirement of the SCADA systems. So that's why I think the research in this domain is, uh, is imperative. Well, who, um, you know, it, it, starting such research projects, obviously, um, you know, would be good ideas and, and are ongoing even in the security field because the, the, the security issues related to, to SCADA certainly are um, maybe not totally well known, but certainly documented a whole lot. But, um, I mean, where, where would be the, the basis for funding um, for um, for, for SCADA? Um, I think, uh, I mean, if you are asking about the source of funding, uh, uh, the best place is to ask uh, your government <laughs> uh, to, to fund these kind of projects. And uh, usually in every country that I've been, uh, I saw that the government is a major source of uh, research funding, and even in the United States. So uh, that's, uh, uh, and also, uh, uh, I think for any research project, for the funding is the most important part, and uh, government is uh, uh, the best source to ask for this. Well, do you have you observed industry participating in these projects? Since to a certain degree, not to a certain degree, they're the largest target. Um, yeah. So. Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes uh, researchers also manage to do industry collaborations, uh, which I think is. Uh, is um, the most effective, and also I think it's quite hard uh, to achieve. Uh, uh, it is, I think, most effective because uh, it provides uh, close access to the real world SCADA systems, and also uh, the technical person personals um, there uh, that experience uh, the problems and understand the limitations of these systems. Uh, but I think it is, it is hard to achieve because uh, the critical nature of uh, SCADA systems uh, uh, that uh, discourages the SCADA owners and operators uh, uh, to cooperate with the research community. Okay. So how do you think um, that, that we could have the most effective type of, of research into this? Uh, well, uh, in my opinion, uh, the critical uh, nature of SCADA systems demands concrete and practical research, and this can not be done uh, without having a SCADA uh, system for research purposes where uh, the research prototypes uh, can be tested thoroughly. Uh, the paper also discusses uh, the options uh, that are used by the researchers, especially in academia, uh, to overcome this problem. Uh, it talks about simulators such as uh, SimSCADA uh, that is mostly used to imitate uh, uh, the network traffic of SCADA systems uh, that occur between uh, the field devices and the master terminal units. Uh, we also see that the researchers build a laboratory scale SCADA systems for, uh, uh, for research. Uh, uh, and uh, Mississippi State University has such a laboratory. Even uh, the Ohio National Lab has a test pad that is a full scale electric power grid. So, uh, uh, but but overall, I mean, having a running SCADA system is uh, is uh, is uh, is required, I think, for an, for for a very uh, conclusive or effective uh, or practical uh, research. Well, but besides funding, which you've mentioned, um, do you view any other roles that government can play? In, uh, in sponsoring research into SCADA systems? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a very important question. Uh, government can play uh, a vital role in facilitating uh, the research in this domain. Uh, it can provide more funding for the research. And I think it can also play a mediator role to establish a trust between uh, uh, the research community and uh, the industry. Uh, for instance, uh, when I was in Australia, I went to uh, the SCADA Community of Interest uh, meetings, uh, which is regularly organized by the Australian government. 
um, I think uh, it uh, provides a good platform where in Australia, SCADA owners, operators, vendors, and even researchers from academia uh, can gather together to make professional acquaintances and relationships and discuss their uh, current issues. Okay. Well, so there, there's obviously been concern about the security of SCADA systems. And, I mean, how compatible do you think that the research is between adding security to SCADA um, with the research into being able to do forensics on, on SCADA systems? And, and, and how do you see those two, um, the, the, those two different research paths um, working together, if you will? Um, I think to, to some level, uh, they are uh, related. Uh, uh, but uh, I think uh, the, the researchers, uh, the, especially the forensic research community, I mean, they need uh, uh, to put uh, more effort on this domain and uh, uh, try to uh, facilitate uh, uh, the forensic investigators. I don't think so. The, the security research in this domain can do this. Uh, uh, they, they, they don't build, uh, uh, specifically, they don't build tools for forensic investigators uh, hel helping them in their forensic investigation in this domain. So uh, the, 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 the specific, uh, 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 I think, uh, forensic community needs uh, uh, a special focus on this to, to build uh, uh, such tools. I mean, they, they cannot just rely on... Uh, security researchers on this domain. Well, Irfan, I, I thank you very much for the, the input so far. I guess um, I would ask if there's any sort of wrap-up, any, uh, any message you have for, well, the people listening to this and or reading your article. Yeah, uh, I, would, I would like to give a message to a reader who is relevant. Um, if he is a SCADA owner or operator, I would uh, encourage him to engage with a forensic community and try to help them in building more uh, effective forensic tools for SCADA assistance. Uh, if uh, the reader is a forensic researcher, I would uh, encourage him to become active in this domain and since a lot of work uh, needs to be done from uh, forensic research community. Well, great. I thank you very much, and I wish you continued success with your research. <laughs>